This is an advanced tutorial on how to make a girl come. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much of the basic stuff because unless this is the very first video or article that you have ever clicked to learn how to give a woman an orgasm, then you already know a few things, right? Lots of foreplay, women typically get more aroused more slowly than men. You need to learn where the clitoris is, it's right there. Many, probably most women, need clitoral stimulation to have an orgasm, but not all, and it's a mistake to go straight for it if you want to tease your way closer and closer to the button. Okay, that handles 90% of everything that you'll ever find on the internet, so let's move on. Giving a woman an orgasm is much easier than most articles on the subject would have you believe. Now I'm gonna share with you a simple and direct method that you can use to make any woman come, and then a few thoughts on how to make her come more easily, more frequently, and harder than she ever thought possible. Now you probably already know, the statistics are against me on this. Many women have never had an orgasm in their lives, despite no lack of trying, right? Now the number's generally taken to be about one in seven, which is bonkers. Many other women have never had an orgasm with a partner, and still larger group of women have never had an orgasm during intercourse. And that number is generally cited around 70%. But orgasm's natural. It's a wired in part of our biology for men and for women. And whether you're a woman watching this for yourself or a man watching it for your partner or your next partner or whatever, I'm gonna give you some specific instructions that are gonna make this less complicated and give you a much better success rate at giving women better orgasms. Now, most men have no problem having an orgasm unless they've got a medical condition. And until very, very recently, most men had no problem having an orgasm during intercourse, though that's changing. Porn addiction, certain antidepressants have changed that fact. But for a normal man this, that hasn't already been overexposed to pornography or some kind of pharmaceutical product that interferes with his arousal, orgasm's easy and nearly guaranteed. But where men commonly struggle, alternatively, is in achieving an erection when under pressure. Many men suffer through this problem their entire lives, and the vast majority of men have had this problem come up, or you know, not come up, at some time in their lives. And what's important about this is that the more pressure you put on a man to get an erection, the worse the situation becomes. And this is really different than almost anything else in life, right? Pressure is usually good. If I have a gun, I tell a man, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't do one more pull-up. Even though he's already exhausted, chances are, you know, he's gonna find a way to do that pull-up. The pressure works. But I take out a stopwatch and I tell him, you have three minutes to get an erection or you're a dead man. Well. May as well go ahead, buy flowers for the family because there is no way he is going to succeed. And if you're a man who's ever felt pressure to perform and then ended up with a limp dick, then this will give you a huge insight into what happens for women who've never had an orgasm or who struggle to have orgasms during sex. Now, she's in the same kinds of thought loops, the same patterns. She's trying desperately to think arousing thoughts and focus on sensations in her body while well, mainly, you know, she's focusing on focusing on these things, and it's no fun. And that is the point. Having an orgasm is fun, and giving an orgasm is fun. It turns out fun works. So let's dig into how to get rid of the anxiety and make this, you know, more fun. Now, it's crazy to me that you can read 100 articles on getting women aroused, and you'll almost never stumble upon the basic truth that both men and women, the most universally arousing thing, is your partner's arousal. In other words, heterosexual men are turned on by women's arousal, heterosexual women are turned on by men's arousal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I won't go into all of the possible permutations here, but the takeaway is, if you stopped focusing so much on trying so hard to get her aroused, and instead, you let her see and feel how much she is arousing you, your results will go through the roof. And that's a little counterintuitive because for most things in life, if you want more success, trying harder works. But with female orgasm, it is the opposite. Now, of course, there's more to it than just that. And I'll, I'll get to that stuff in a moment. But, but just get this. Change your focus from trying to give her an orgasm through stimulation to allowing yourself to enjoy her, allowing yourself to get really aroused and let her see and feel your arousal through your words, through your facial expressions, the sounds you make, muscle tension, the, the hunger in your touch. 
this is going to work much better. And good news number one here is, you know, this is easy. You don't need any practice. You can try it tonight. And if it doesn't work much better than what you've been doing, go ahead and call me a dumbass in the comments below. And I'm not worried that's going to happen because this works. Good news number two is that this is also the instructions for her. So, ladies, you're having trouble reaching orgasm, whether you've never come in your life, or if you just find it difficult during intercourse, or with your current partner, for whatever reason, then what I want you to try is focus on his pleasure. Stop trying to reach orgasm, and instead, focus on enjoying his body, his textures, his smell, and most of all, his heart. Key into your feelings for him, and how enjoyable it is to give physical pleasure to a man that you care about. Take him on a ride. Feel your feminine power over his body, over his cock. Get out of that mental conversation that's about you and drown yourself in pleasuring him. If you play at this, you may find that your orgasm is spontaneous along the way. Does this work? Well, here is an interesting story for you. I've never once seen this advice written or in video or in blog post or in Cosmo magazine for women who want to experience more or better orgasms. But that's kind of strange because the technique I just described was scientifically documented as effective by Viktor Frankl, the father of logotherapy and the school of psychotherapy and his team at the Vienna Polyclinic of Neurology, where they documented the effectiveness of this approach all the way back in 1949. So yeah, it, it works. And it's weird that you could spend your life on the internet reading about how to make a woman come and never run into, you know, this advice that was documented by scientists. All right, so let's roll up our sleeves or go ahead and get completely naked and let's get into the nuts and bolts about this. I should mention if you're a man and you want a cheat sheet for all of this and much more, then click the link in the corner or find the link in the video description below and uh, I'll take you to a page where you can download my PDF, the 10 things that every man needs to know to be great in bed. And if you want to go all the way down the rabbit hole, well, I won't discourage you from buying my book. Uh, revolutionary sex, where you'll learn erotic techniques to go way, way past orgasm. All right, let's get back to it. Now, again, most of what you've seen in the past is wrong. And one way that you can prove to yourself that that stuff is wrong is that if it were right, you wouldn't have to be watching this video. So, myth. Women can only orgasm through clitoral stimulation. Now, the truth is that for most women, clitoral stimulation orally or with a vibrator is the easiest, surest way to orgasm. But either that didn't work for you, or it did, but you want to learn how to make a woman come through intercourse and clitoral stimulation alone isn't doing it. So it's important to understand that orgasm happens in the brain, not in her clit. And because of that, a woman who is aroused enough can have an orgasm through breast stimulation, neck stimulation, the back of her knees, the bottoms of her feet, probably any other part of her body you find arousing. In fact, if aroused enough, a woman can have an orgasm with no physical contact at all. And I understand so can men, for whatever that's worth, though, I've never personally done the trick. But what's interesting about this fact is that quite a few women who've never had an orgasm, quite a few of them, when they followed the advice that I just laid out, had their first orgasm from non-genital stimulation. In other words, no touching of the pussy, and they had their, first, their very first orgasm. Because when their partner was going mad with desire, enjoying that part of her body, she wasn't looping on her, usually, her usual anxiety thoughts because he wasn't near there, right? Like, oh my God, he's been down there a long time. Jesus, I, I wonder if he's grossed out. Or is, he, or is he just trying to please me? Is he getting impatient? Is he getting frustrated? Does he think I'm broken? Wait, why can't I come? Why can't I come? What should I be thinking about? Oh no, I'm thinking about the wrong thing again. Shit, 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 shit. Should I fake it? Wait, no, I can't fake it. I'm not the kind of woman that fakes it. Uh, that would be dishonest, and, 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 but he'd be so much happier if I faked it, right? So this is what is going on in a woman's head when she wants to be just enjoying it, but when he was just enjoying her breasts, she wasn't in that place yet. See, none of those thoughts were in her head when her lover was enjoying this non-genital part of her body. Boom, orgasm. And once she felt it, once she experienced it from her breasts or feet or wherever, it then became easier for her to experience clitoral or vaginal orgasms with the same partner. So this worked for a lot of women, but I'm not suggesting that you go for non-genital orgasm. I'm just making a point that focusing on pleasure instead of orgasm works. It is also worth noting that while more women orgasm through clitoral stimulation, there are other women who only orgasm through vaginal stimulation. Clitoral stimulation turns them on, but 
it doesn't get them there without vaginal penetration. And the point of this is not that you have to avoid her pussy to make her come, not that you have to only touch certain points. The point is that you have to pay attention to what's actually pleasurable for her and what's actually pleasurable for you. And do that. Do that for as long as you like. There's no hurry. There's no deadline. Get rid of the goals. Just enjoy each other. Don't worry about how or when it ends. This doesn't just lead to more orgasms and more powerful orgasms. It actually leads to much more enjoyable sex. And like I said, fun works. You put this all together, it forms sort of a roadmap. Step one, arousal. It's really entirely about her being turned on. Not pressured, not trying, not just going through the motions because she has to. If she's turned on enough, none of the other steps are you know, terribly important. You can screw them up, it doesn't matter that much. Now, you can turn her on as a matter of sexual polarity, and I have other videos on that subject, but the big picture is make her feel feminine, make it fun for her to be a girl by being a man. Now, you can turn her on with teasing, with touching, with your words, and most importantly of all, with your turn on, your enjoyment of her feminine sexiness, which is part of polarity. Step two, all the other advice that you've read is step two, right? Lots of foreplay, slow down, don't go straight for the pussy, yada, 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 yada. And then step three, important. Recognize that every woman is wired differently. There's no rule for stroke this, then do that, then work your way in, don't touch that yet, then do this. Those guidelines are sometimes fine, but just as often, I mean, every time, they're based on somebody else's girlfriend. They might work for you, no, nah, they might not, right? If you actually follow what's actually arousing for her and what's actually arousing for you, since your turn on is key here, you're gonna get much, much better results. And finally, it's not just how and where you touch a woman, there's also rhythm involved. And again, this is something that you have to play with. Wish I could just tell you what the beat is, but some women like faster, some like slower, and some like slow on one part of the body and fast on some other part of the body or vice versa. So once you find a rhythm that's working and you find it, you don't speed up, you don't slow down, just stay with it and see how much pleasure you can extract, see how much pleasure you can wring out of her, see how crazy and aroused you can make her just staying there. Be curious, be open to discover her body. Keep on focusing on pleasure, more and more pleasure, not on orgasm, just see how high you can get her. Just enjoy making love and let the orgasms happen spontaneously. Trying harder makes it harder, okay? Now as an aside, I wanna be clear that lasting longer is not what gives a woman an orgasm, but also, you know, if you wanna have an orgasm during intercourse, it, it helps, and all things being equal, you should wanna give her an orgasm during intercourse. So if you struggle to maintain your erection across a long period of time, you probably wanna get my free strategy guide to lasting longer in bed, and I will link to that too, and the button in the corner, and in the video description below. So, moving on. Are there sex positions that will work better? Yes, of course, but, they're not gonna be the same ones for different women. So again, when you click on some clickbait headline that says, five great positions for female orgasm, even if it's my clickbait headline, then the truth is you're just gonna see a list of what that particular woman who made the video likes the best, or what worked the best on average for that guy's girlfriend who made the video. And that can be useful, or it might end up messing you up. It's more important to learn why a particular position is good, or ask her what positions turn her on the most, or do that thing that turns you on the most. You get the idea. Your turn on really counts here. And if you want a lot more detail about all of this, and you want to like really master this art, a great place to start is my free PDF on the 10 things that every man needs to be great in bed, which you know you click the link in the video or in the description below and, and, and get yours. Now. Stop putting so much pressure on her and go have some fun.